Hey, welcome to Square Body Stuff. I'm Chad. We're back in the shop with old Squeaky here. Uh, my 78 step size C10. Uh, not much of a truck, but I'm playing around with him right now. If you want to know more about this truck, click up here in the box or the link up here in the corner of the box and uh, go to that playlist and they'll take you to all the videos I've got pretty much of this truck. Catch you up to speed on it. Uh, this video, we're just going to be taking out the inner fenders. Uh, he is a 78, so it's a round eye. Uh, now, this, the 81 through 87 or 81 on up are, are pretty much the same thing. Uh, the battery box is mounted a little bit differently, but I don't, there's not much of a difference. I think it has the same pretty much bolt pattern and all that stuff. So, uh, it, it, this pretty much covers up all years of square bodies. Uh, I go through and show you how to remove the inner fenders. Not really much to it. I thought, you know, I just put a video up while I'm doing it. Just in case someone has a question about it, they can find this video and see how I do it. Oh, hey there. I don't know if I've seen you around here before. You must be new. This is square body stuff. Uh, if you are new to this channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below. And click the little notification bell next to it. That way you get notifications when we have uh, new videos come up. Also, give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing here. Go down that description box down below and click on that Teespring link, and you'll go to where I have all my merchandise. We've got hoodies. Of course, they'll be clean, not dirty like this one. Coffee mugs. Go pick you one out. So probably the worst part about taking inner fenders out is everything could be corroded, rusted, seized up. Uh, you might break bolts off. You know, that's, that's probably going to be the biggest issue. Uh, you can do it without taking the tires off if you have smaller tires. Uh, it's just a lot easier to go ahead and jack it up, take your tires off so you got more room to get to everything. I'm going to go ahead and take the tires off because I'm going to be switching over to my skinny tires. I'm getting ready to start taking this thing back to the drag strip. Uh, so I'm going to get this jacked up on jack stands and we'll start taking these bolts out and I'll show you where all they're at. Now we got the wheel entirely out of the way. I can show you what's going on here. You've got these two bolts here, 9 16 They actually bolt to your cab. Uh, and here's a little something I want to add to it. A lot of people ask about these plates on these inner fenders. Uh, most of your aftermarket ones, I, I don't know if any aftermarket ones actually come with this stiffener plate. And that's all it is. It's not an inspection cover or nothing like that. It's just a stiffener plate since this bolt does go to the cab. It keeps, uh, keeps that hole from getting ripped out on your inner fender. You got those, those are 9 16 The rest of them, I believe, are half inch. Uh, you got several of them that go along here. And some of mine's missing. And you got one, two, three. It goes across the front on the bottom. I got one missing. Uh, you've also got, should have a bolt here. That goes to the bottom of your battery tray. Uh, mine seems to be missing also. So, I just got, that's just less bolts for me to have to take out. Are you guys impressed? I'm actually going to use impact sockets on my impact. I'm moving up in the world. It would help if I the right one.
got all sorts of room for activities now. I don't know how much weight that saves, but probably ain't a whole lot. Every little bit counts. I'll be removing the heater box uh, after this. I've got a video I put out just not too long ago, just before this one, of removing the inner heater box to replace the heater core, but I'm leaving it all out. All right, like I said earlier, not much to it. Uh, the only frustrations you might have is some rusted or seized bolts uh, and then trying to wiggle it out of there. It could be kind of a pain to get it out of there. It's probably a good idea to put some gloves on because those edges are pretty sharp. Uh, I didn't do that because I'm not very smart sometimes. But anyways, uh, that's about all there is to it. The driver's side, pretty much the same thing, just a mirror image. Uh, you probably don't have the battery box on that side. Uh, that was an option, but most of them don't have it so you don't have to worry about that uh, anyway so the driver's side be the same thing uh, that's pretty much all i got for you this time till next time y'all keep your square bodies rolling and we'll catch you later